<laughs> Mr. Speaker. Oh, uh, Alfred Naro. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I rise to take a call on this bill. Mr. Speaker, I uh, remember coming into the House in uh, 2011, after the 2011 election, and uh, so I was coming at the tail end of a, a round of consultation in our communities around the sale of alcohol and liquor in our communities. And I know, Mr. Speaker, that. Um, that uh, prior to that, uh, in the community, there was a round of consultation that was quite significant. I was part of facilitating some of those uh, meetings that they had. One of the key concerns uh, for the communities at that time was uh, the binge drinking, and especially, I suppose, the, you know, the harmful uh, behaviour and crime, and the public health problems that were coming out of that domestic violence and so forth, that was uh, a contributor to some of the challenges and issues that our communities faced. Um, out of that, Mr. Uh, Speaker, the, um, the key concerns that came out through the Sale and Supply of Alcohol Act of 2012 was also the ability to allow communities to be able to have a say uh, in their consultation around some of the regulations, especially with territorial authorities and for local bodies as well, Mr. Speaker. So that um, was a concern that was raised, but also to then was met through the legislation, which allowed for that uh, to happen as well. And I think, Mr. Speaker, one of the things that was uh, important in that was that how could we um, ensure that there was a restriction uh, and not relax the laws, but at the same time to uh, allow for a way that uh, those restrictions would, would definitely address the issues of, around binge drinking. Um, so in 2012, and being in the House when that came through, Mr Speaker, was coming through the end of that consultation, seeing that legislation come through. Uh, Mr Farfoy that then talked about that, that piece of legislation, and so I suppose I suppose minimise the aspect of what this House will do, but this bill is intended to, to you know, sort of correct, I suppose, unforeseen circumstances, which the significant amount of work of this bill had done. I do remember and recall, though, in that time in 2013, I think there were about, uh, uh, was it at 20 SOPs that came through from the Labor uh, caucus. So there was a little bit of confusion. There was a little bit of confusion. Well, yes, it did say that you cared, but there was, a, there was probably a lot of confusion uh, that reigned through there. Um, in 2013, Leanne Dalziel also too talked about these things, so there was some confusion. On, on this side of the House, there is, there is no confusion. I, I think, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, um, it's very clear that though there, are, though there are minor changes, they are significant enough because, Mr. Speaker, um, obviously there's a concern to just remedy some of the unforeseen circumstances. I know that the fact is, is that when we do talk about those circumstances and those changes, um, they are that uh, in, in certain places where people do shop and frequent, they do want to ensure that, um, I suppose it's the separation really, where you can go to a place where there uh, is non-alcoholic and low uh, alcoholic um, beverages that uh, people may want to see that's part of a change in the lifestyle. Um, that may be part of it, Mr Speaker. So, Mr Speaker, um, though this uh, may be uh, small technical changes, we believe it's important to, again, ensure that the substantive work of the bill that we are talking about, the amendments to the Sale and Supply of Alcohol Act of 2012, I think it's important, Mr Speaker, that we want to see this continue so that it continues to be uh, the bill that it was intended to do, which is, most importantly, which is reducing the binge drinking, giving consultation and the ability for local communities to be empowered uh, to consult and to also to look at the regulations that would be important for their localised issues in their communities. In fact, I remember the, um, some of the ads that were on, and one of them was, I think, was at the Altata flea market where people got up and, and were trying to say to people, have your say. And so they were having their say, Mr Speaker, and we think that's important. Mr Speaker, I do commend these changes uh, that have come back into the House. We do think that they're important. They're small, they are technical, but I think they're changes that will be important to the overall and I want to sort of continue to emphasise that, the overall essence and the intent of the bill, Mr Speaker. So I commend, uh, in my brief uh, uh, statements to the House, this uh, bill to the House. I call